Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's D-Man the Great here, and today I'm here to talk about something, or I'm gonna give an opinion to you. I'm gonna talk about what I hate. And in my honest opinion, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely three times hate the NBA trade deadline. I enjoy when trades are made sometimes. I like to see some little bit of shakeups for a little bit of excitement during the season. But the trade deadline is absolutely awful. And it always is. And not only that, that teams will literally sit on their behinds and do nothing for the entire year. And then all of a sudden... This one day, oh, we can't make any more trades, so we have to just do something today on the trade deadline. We have to just make a move to make a move. To sh It makes absolutely no sense at all. It's honestly one of the worst traditions in the league. It's one of the worst things we got going on right now. Just based off of everyone is switching teams at this point. So really, as a person who's a fan of the NBA as a whole, there will be less of everything. And it's very, it's very, now today's NBA is kind of pretty prone to the bandwagon, bandwagon culture as you never know when your favorite player can be traded or you'll never know if your favorite player is even going to be on hit that the team that you love so much for more than a couple of years and you won't get to see someone with, with a team their entire career like Dirk Kobe and Tim Duncan like that. You're never going to see anything like that anymore at this point. You should expect Giannis to leave Milwaukee uh, one day, maybe. But you should expect a lot of these players to just leave their teams. Like Dame Lillard, he's kind of, he's on the Trailblazers, but I don't understand why he's even showing loyalty to them at this point because they aren't going to get a good free agent. And they aren't going to win as currently constructed. And Dame Lillard, while he's a great player, he's not going to win a championship being the lead player. Unless everybody in the league takes a sharp drop off in ability or something. Or Golden State disappears off the map like last year. He probably could have did something. But it's not, it's really not a good look for anybody right now on lasting with their entire career with the team as you can uh, have oh this guy is gonna like Kendrick Nunn in this video here like say he was on the heat for uh, about five ten years he became one of the best players in the NBA and after a few years he'd be like oh Kendrick Nunn's gonna be on the heat forever he's great all this and this and that but then next thing you know Kendrick Nunn is traded to the Philadelphia 76ers for a couple of table scraps and a box of nickels. It's terrible. I hate the NBA trade deadline. It's just my opinion. It's not a factual thing this time. I'm just talking this time to drop you something and to maybe get you to think a little bit. Do you really like the trade deadline? Do you really like having to switch associations with players due to teams and things like that? As uh, one of my favorite players has been traded recently, so I might just be a little angry about that. But D'Angelo Russell has been on like three teams, four teams in a couple of years. Well, been on three teams in the last like three years. So I'm pretty unhappy about that. But I'm just saying. Think about it. Apply your logic to it. But I'll talk to you folks later. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh,